Hello, in this video I will be breaking down Rand Augment and why it is the best data augmentation policy out there. Uh, to understand this, we first need to understand what data augmentation is and what role it plays in machine learning. Data augmentation refers to just adding on to your data by adding some kind of a matrix um, to your original input data to give more variety. So you could imagine there's an image. You could say, I, I will turn half the pixels blue. I will like crank up the blue and half the pixels to maximum. That is, in a, and I will use that data alongside my original image. So we have both the modified and the original. That in a nutshell is data augmentation. And the reason it's very important is because in the real world when we're doing with we're dealing with machine learning techniques it's very impractical and stupid to assume that we will always have very pure pristine data neatly labeled neatly packaged high definition instead often we'll have blurry images blurred video you might not exactly a leaf might fall and obscure part of your this thing there's a million factors that can go wrong and this noise is actually a good thing because when we train with noise it uh, it improves our data so what data augmentation is used as a way of basically making sure our model is general enough that it can deal with noise and still give us very accurate predictions as a matter of fact i have written an article in medium about the importance of noise where Google researchers have created a far superior image classification algorithm even though they, their algorithm and uses much much fewer resources than the state of the other contemporary uh, state-of-the-art image classification nets. Now that we understand the importance of data augmentation let's get to why RAND augment is the best. In a nutshell it's because it's very simple most data augmentation, especially with images, tends to rely on very heavy machine learning based approaches or other such mathematically complex things that, inc that exponentially increase the search space. And to get the best possible augmentation is very hard and co costly. What RAND augment does, you can see the code, this is literally all it does. So we have a set of 13 transformations that we can use and we can we pick a number n that's the number of aug different augmentations we want to try out and we'd pick a magnitude m which is just a number for like how, how much do you want to apply one thing so just on these two factors you generate an image and as we can see from their example given here this applies only two transformations shear along the x-axis and an auto contrast along three different magnitudes 9 17 and 28 and we have drastically different images even though you know uh, we have the same two augmentation uh, we have the same two transformations and this in a nutshell is the beauty of rand augment we have 13 different possibilities that which means you're dealing with 13 to the n where n is the number of um, distortions you want to apply so 13 to the n possible different images so just with if we assume we want to apply two different uh, augmentation uh, transformations we're dealing with 13 squared which is 169 different possible images and that's along one magnitude so if we vary the magnitude as well you're you're obviously dealing with thousands of possible images generated in a very short very quick computational this thing and that in the nut is why Rand augment performs so well because it can generate extremely different images more different than uh, machine learning based these things which can often overfit and um, will keep the trends from its training data with Rand augment there's no such things so uh, you're generating much better training data for much lower costs and this is shown in their paper which I will be breaking down in an article soon so ch check the description for it if you enjoyed this video or have any feedback for me, please do leave that below. Uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video if this helped you. It really helps a small channel like mine. And that's it. Thank you.